as well as being a gunslinger, he's a legit martial artist. In 2014, he became an 8th Dan Black Belt in Kyokushin, which is arguably the most effective style of karate. He's also a 5th Dan Black Belt in Judo, which he's been practicing from a young age. He actually holds the title Master of Sports in Judo, which in Russia is an incredibly prestigious title. He even has his own DVD teaching Judo techniques. Intimidate their political opponents. As a martial arts master, Putin poses a very immediate threat to the mistake of crossing him in person. His l He's a talented hockey player. If you heard that Vladimir Putin was slated to play in the Russian president is apparently a force to be reckoned with on the ice. During a 2015 exhibition game, Putin scored an outstanding eight goals, leading his team to an 18-6 victory. As co-pilot, Putin's role in the ordeal was to press a button that would unleash water onto the forest fire. And press it, he did. Was the whole thing just another chance to show the Russian president looking heroic? We may never know. What we do know is that two forest fires were doused by the grace of Putin's touch. <laughs> He's basically Indiana Jones. In 2011, it was reported he discovered some ancient Greek urns while diving. He brought two urns back from the floor of the Black Sea, and images like this were widely circulated in the media. The urns were found to be from the 6th century. He once caught a massive fish. While on a fishing trip with Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, Putin allegedly caught a 46-pound pike, a catch that would rival some of the largest ever. The pundits, however, were quick to point out that the fish in question likely weighed closer to 26 pounds. The evidence is on the side of the skeptics, as the fish in question was said to have been 34 to 36 inches in length. He's shot a whale with a crossbow. Oddly enough, it was all in the name of science. In 2010, Putin tagged along with a group of marine biologists when they went to collect skin samples from gray whales off the coast of the Kamchatka Peninsula. He hugs polar bears. The average politician is content to shake hands and kiss babies. Vladimir Putin, however, is not your average politician. And so, when the opportunity to visit the Arctic Circle presented itself in 2010, Putin leapt at the chance to visit the home of one of Earth's most dangerous predators, as well as fitting it with an electronic collar. He even gave the unconscious bear a few friendly pats. Obvious PR stunt? Maybe. Another notch on the belt of a super manly president? Absolutely. He really loves tigers. His administration has taken action against tiger poachers within Russia. And as a result of this, the number of Siberian tigers is rising. But one tiger he helped rescue caused a minor diplomatic incident. It swam across a river into China and started killing livestock. But the Chinese government didn't seem to mind. 